Jane Ace goes blithely on preparing to enter the contest. Neil, who doesn't know the way Mr. Wren feels about Marge, has promised to help Jane. This episode is in alternating scenes between the Ace's home and next door, where Mr. Lorenz is staying. But first to the Ace's, where we find Mr. Ace with his after-dinner pipe, Jane deep in a book. Listen. Jane, be a sport and reach up over that desk over there and get my pipe cleaner, will you? This pipe gets clogged up so... Jane, will you please? Oh, you and that movie stuff. Yeah. <laughs> What are you doing there? I'm trying to talk to you. Oh, I told you not to bother me. I'm reading this book about acting. Oh, then I suppose I'll have to get my own pipe cleaner. Pipe cleaner? How can you bother me with things like that? This book is hard enough to understand as it is. What's the book? Oh, it's a book about acting. I bought it today. Mm, what's the name of it? Acts of Congress. Acts of... <laughs> oh, go on, laugh, and please don't bother me. <laughs> You're certainly going to learn a lot about movie acting with that book. Well, I can't if you keep asking me about pipe cleaners. Well, there was a time when I was sitting here this comfortably that you wouldn't mind helping me out. That was B.C., though. Say pardon? Before career, before you thought about becoming a movie star. Go on, reading your acts of Congress. I'll struggle along as best I can without a pipe cleaner. I'm too comfortable to get on. Go on, go on, read your little book. Oh, I'm kind of tired of this one. It's so hard to understand. I think I'll read this other one I got. Oh, you got another book about acting, huh? No, this is about makeup. Oh, makeup. Huh? Yes, that's one of the most important parts about movies. I hope I'll be able to understand this one a little better, though. Yes, I imagine you will. A book about makeup. Yes, makeup and live. Makeup and live? Yes, see? A makeup and that live. That says wake up and live. <laughs> oh, yes. Well, Isn't that well, a shame? I'm sure going to give that man my peace of mind. I've wasted another day now. Oh, I wouldn't say waste. Just go on to read Wake Up and Live. Oh, I haven't time to read. This contest is important. I know I'm going to win it, especially if Neil helps me like he said he would. Yeah, and especially if you go on reading Acts of Congress. What you need is some real practical experience. What do you mean? Well, I mean, you ought to practice as if there's a camera going, like they do in the movie sets. Now, now look, I'll help you out. You? Oh, <laughs> what do you know about oh, movies? Oh, no, I know a lot about making movies. Now, look, suppose this is a movie set. Stand up. Well, come on, stand up. What for? Well, I'm trying to help you out. I'm going to show you something. Stand up. Oh, all right. That's it. Now, dear, if you're playing a joke on right, me... Right, Jane, you know I wouldn't play a joke. Now, look, I'm a director, and you're the actor. This is a movie set, uh, an interior of a home, we'll say. Yes. Now, uh, ready? Ready for what? For shooting the scene. I'm going to show you how to make a picture or a scene from a picture. I'm the director. Now, don't look at me. Well, where shall I look? Anywhere, around the room. You, you just come into the room. You're looking around for something. Kind of look around the room first. Go ahead. Look around the room. That's fine. Is it? Uh, did I do that all right? Yes, you did swell. Now, you look over, uh, over there by that desk. We'll say over there. That's it. And you see it. See what? Uh, whatever it is you came in to look for. You look around the room, and then suddenly you see it, and you sort of act a little surprised. No, no, not surprised, sort of startled. You recognize this thing. Do that. Now, you come in. Now, wait. I'll go over here first. Oh, my hair is such a size. Mm, well, it won't matter to this camera. Uh, now I come in? Yes. Come on in. Now, the camera is where I am. Don't, don't look at it. That's it. You come in. Fine. You're looking around now. <laughs> well, what are you laughing at? Oh, I can't help it. I'm kind of excited, I guess. Well, don't get so excited. That's it. Uh, keep a straight face. <laughs> like this? Well, that's straight enough. Now, look around and, and you see the thing over by the desk. Now, you suddenly see it. Well, close your mouth. Well, that's looking startled. Oh, excuse me. That's looking startled. Now, you go over towards the desk slowly. That's it. Now, you reach up over it. Reach up. Fine. Pick up that jar there. No, 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 it's a back of jar. That's it. Careful of it. Now, don't look at me. Open the lid. Now, you look in and you see it. Put the lid back on. And you walk slowly this way out of the scene. You're good. Was I? <laughs> I had all I could do to keep from laughing. Was I all right? Now, tell me the truth. Dear. Yeah, you were perfect. Now, give me... I didn't the... look around at the camera, did I? No, no, you were fine. Now, just hand me that well, jar. Well, I want to do it again. I'll put it back. No, I don't want... Give me that jar. Well, it's sure is nice of you to help me, dear. I thought you were pulling a joke on me or something. There. Now, I'll go out again, and I'll come in again and see it again, just like I did before. Ready? Oh, all right, ready. Here I come. <laughs> 
Come on. Well, watch me. First, I have to look around. No, no, I think this time you ought to just sort of know what you came after, and you and you go right over and pick it up and bring it out towards me and hand it to me. Without looking around or starting? Yes, just sort of act, do it quickly, like you mean business. You know what you came in for. Well, all right, here I come. That's it. Cross right over to the desk, reach up and take the, take, no, 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 reach up and take the jar of the... What are you doing? That's not right. What are you doing with that letter opener? I changed. I came in for this letter opener. Oh, you changed to a letter opener. Yes, I got a letter this morning, and I want to open it. How was I? Did I do it all right? Yes, you were fine. Well, now I'll come in for something no, else. No, no, let's just forget about the whole Oh, thing. now, there you start out to help me. Now, don't spoil no, it. Oh, I'm tired of all that. That's tired? Just... I was the one that did the walking and looking around. You didn't do no, it. I don't want to play anymore. Oh, just once more. Come on. Well, if you'll do as I say. I will. I want to surprise Neil. Won't he be surprised when he sees how good I do this? Yes, he'll be surprised. Now, Neil, my friend, I wish you wouldn't bother me with so many details. After all, your paper is running the contest to find the girl. I have all I can do to fix up my story and pick the girl for the part. I get you, and I won't annoy you anymore. I just thought you might be interested in knowing how many girls have already applied for the contest. It's going to be the biggest thing that's hit this town... Especially if the girl turns out to be good and backs up her first appearance in pictures with a swell performance that gets her a movie contract for good. I think she will. What? You really think there's a chance for some girl to make good? To really get a regular movie job out of this? I feel confident that she will. Well, that's news. How about not printing that? No, no, I would rather you did not do that. Why not? We'll get thousands of girls to enter if they feel that you really believe there's a chance for them in pictures. Well, not so fast, my friend. For the thousands of girls, there is really no chance. But for one, yes. Well, sure, they understand that. But as long as they feel that they might be the one... I am not concerned with how they feel, these thousands of girls. But personally, I feel there is a chance for one. What do you mean? You mean you found one that you think... Exactly. But say, you don't mean that we're not going through with the camera test we've been running stories about in the paper and all that. Of course we shall go through with it. But I think I have found the right girl for this part. Oh, is that why you've been rewriting the part? That is why. I see. Who is this lucky girl? Whether she is lucky or not is up to her. She may not care for a Korean picture. Show me the girl who doesn't. Who is she? Uh, the, uh, the young lady next door. Next door? What? You do not agree with me. Agree with you? Well, I, I mean, it kind of knocks the wind out of my sails. You mean that you think she has a chance in pictures on the level? On the level, my friend, a very good chance, if she will take it. If she'll take it? Did you say if? I have spoken to her but twice, and I thought she was not interested. Not interested? <laughs> say, if that's all that's worrying you, listen, your worries are over. Why, she even asked me to get a copy of the scenario for her, so she could study it for the day that you make the test. She did? Sure. But look, Mr. Lorenz, I don't profess to know much about movies. I'm just a poor newspaper man. But do you honestly believe that she has a chance to go places in pictures? Many places and far reaching. Well, I'll... Give me that scenario, will you? I want to take it over and give it to her and break this wonderful news to uh, her. Take the story, yes, but uh, I would rather you did not tell her. What? A man in your position, one of the greatest directors in pictures, when he says that a girl... Just has... the same. I do not agree to that, uh... You must not tell her. Oh, I have a heart, Mr. Lorenz. <laughs> you are so impetuous, my young friend. But you don't know what this will mean to her. I am afraid it will mean very little. Very little? Your opinion of her possibilities in fiction? You're kidding, aren't you? Just the same. I ask you not to say anything. Just let her come of her own accord, and without the knowledge that I think she may have something. I would like to watch her as she really is, without her knowing my feeling in the matter. Okay, if that's the way you want it. Well, this isn't a surprise to me. Talent is found in surprising places. I'll say it is. I'm going over and give her the part to study. How was I that time? Awful. Awful? What did I do? You walked over and picked up a book. Well, that's what I came in for. All right, that's what you came in for. Will you please forget about it? Forget about it? You said I was doing so good, and now you... Just deal me out from now on, will you? I've lost interest in it. Well, if you're not... Well, I can't make heads or shoulders of you. One minute you say one thing and the next minute... Well, I'm going to do it again. Now, I'll do everything you tell me. I don't... You'll do everything I tell you? Yes. All right. You're sitting in the room here. Sit down. Sit down? You said I walked in. Well, this is a different scene. You're sitting in the room here. 
And all of a sudden, you remember you forgot something, and you get up and walk out of the room. Walk out of the room, yes. Well, go ahead. Do it. All right. Here I go. How's this? That's fine. Open the door there and go out. And the next scene is in this room two hours later. That's when you come back. All right. Two hours later. Two hours. Well, now you see you're not doing what I asked you. Oh, well, that must be Neil. Just a minute, Neil. Well, Neil, Marge isn't here. Well, he's coming to see me. He's going to bring me a copy of the story, so I'll know what to do when I take the test. Oh, he is. Oh, hello, Neil. Well, Jane Jane. <laughs> How are you, Jane Jane? <laughs> all right. You like the name I picked out for the movies, don't you? Any name you pick out is going to be all right for you. Hello, Ace. Hello. Uh, what brings you out of here? Oh, up next door with his highness. Did you bring me the story? Did I? A copy right off the press for you, Jane Jane. Oh, stop calling her Jane Jane. Well, friends, you're going to be proud to call her anything one of these days. Is this the story? What do you mean by that? I only wish I could tell you. Well, Jenny, there you have it. Now, you get busy on it, study hard, and take it from me. Your efforts are going to be rewarded. Oh, I'll study it. Uh, when do I have to take the test? They're scheduled for next week. They're going to take as many girls a day as they can for a whole week until we've used them all up. But don't you worry. Your test is going to be a special one. It is? Yeah, I'll bet it is. Oh, skeptical, huh? Well, well you'll find out. Wait till you see this wife of yours on the screen with a director like Lorenz in back of her. Mm, yes, yes. You watch and see. Yes, yes. You'll be packing up one of these days and going to Hollywood. Oh, yes. Think I'm kidding, huh? Yes, yes. How do you think you're going to like it out in Hollywood? Oh, yes. Oh, he's going to like it fine. See, he's practicing to be a yes man already. <laughs> That's one oh, on his day. Yes, yes. And wait until Neil finds out Mr. Lorenz has Marge in mind for the part. We learn more about that when next we meet the Easy Aces.